Okay, so I've uh, prepared my spray booth and everything to begin priming. I'm not going to show you the entire kit being primed, but the reason why I'm showing you this is because I've uh, rearranged the lighting. So I have a, one of my other lamps here, which is very good, has good illumination, and my other lamp here, I have it stuck in the back, pointing downward, so I can see much better. Um, I also was in the middle of cleaning all my airbrushes because I have four air, four airbrushes. Three Neos. I have three Neo. Uh, I want a Neo airbrushes, the CR, CN, and the a Wave airbrush. Actually, you know what? Let me just um, pull this to the side. Here we go. So I have. Um, my Wave HT481, which was very cheap that I got from Hobby Link Japan. It was like uh, around 60, 65 dollars, something like that, maybe close to 70. This was going to be like my low end airbrush, which I was going to use for prime. And then, of course, I got these Neos. One I, per uh, I got for free, one that I won, and the other one that I paid for 40 bucks. Um, so I have one here, one of my Neos here, one that I'm actually using right now. This guy, unfortunately, he's DOA. The, uh, every time I, I, I cleaned it as best as I possibly can, uh, there, was no, um, there was no blockage here anywhere. For whatever reason I spray, it starts bubbling up. Uh, I had the same problem with an, with another Neo of uh, airbrush, but what I did was I switched the nozzle, a good one with the with a gasket, with another nozzle that was on the bad one, and the bad one started working. And when I put the no, the bad uh, the other nozzle on the other Neo, it didn't work. It did the same problem. So I ended up buying a new. Uh, I just ordered a new nozzle for the uh, uh, Neo CN. I'll get it within a you know a couple of days. In the meantime, I have two good airbrushes, and I'm going to see if I can do everything in my power to get recover the other airbrush. So I have three. I'm also in. I'm actually considering of getting myself a good airbrush. I'm talking about a precision airbrush. I have, no, I have never been any problems with Neo, but I've seen a lot of people's works with like some great airbrushes, and I don't want to buy something that's a lot of money, and then later on I find that it's a bit shit. Uh, not that I'm saying that every every uh, airbrush is shit, just don't want to fuck it up. So I'll leave you guys to let me tell me which airbrush do you think I should get. You know, something that I could spend like about a good hundred to 150 bucks that's worth my money. Let me know. So let me just finish up this and I got I got the remaining parts over there on the side that I'm, I'm gonna have to see well I gotta get myself a, like a little table here so well I have a table to my right but then I have all my paints I have all the, the lamps and all that stuff. But I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna just take my time here, and then uh, once this is all dried, we'll have some fun. All right, so finished priming the parts, and I didn't show this on camera. I said to myself, probably a waste of time, but I did advance myself a little bit on a few things. First of all, a portion of these parts have been painted foundation gray. I originally was going to use this, but then after seeing that I have foundation gray, and I said, you know what, I have a lot of this. Let me try this. And I was able to get it on some parts like this, like the knee part here. This is the back flap of the leg. 
the joint part for the leg. Uh, the front part, which I painted this, but I'm going to mask that off so I can paint this part the regular white color. There's going to be a lot of parts I'm going to be masking. I painted this part gray, but I also painted the rest, so I'm going to mask this part section and then paint the bottom part the white color. This one's already been painted fine. That's good. Um, this is the back part of the leg. That's also gray, foundation gray. And then of course this arm was painted the foundation gray as well. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light. And that will be masked off so I can paint this whole whole option, uh, whole section of the part arm white. So that part is done. But now we're going to work on pure red. See how this looks. this off so I can paint it uh, the beef in yellow that's going to be tough here is the face plate of the, the chin because lately I've noticed that on finisher paint it starts to clog up at low PSI. I don't know if it's either the ratio of thinner that I applied on or this airbrush. But I am kind of controlling the amount of paint that's on this so I'm being, I'll probably end up using up all of them. Alright, 
I got a few more red parts here, so let me finish it up, and then we'll move on to the next color of this build. Give me a minute. Alright, so I went ahead to paint the blue parts, which technically speaking, this is the only part that's blue, right here. And I painted it using pure blue. And it um, looks good. I'm letting it dry. I wasn't going to show an entire video of me painting the blue. But there's a few parts of the yellow, which I'm going to do right now. Pure yellow. Just a piece of paper here. admit the, mission, the finishing colors are nice but they're very 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 problematic you could say also I gotta clean my airbrush because it's starting to stick as you hear the hissing sound let's see how oh that's right let me do this one first this is actually let's see I'm gonna so the distance here Okay, I'll uh, let this dry a bit, so I'll redo a touch-up again. I got to start getting the ratio of the white, so I'll do that in the next video. Uh, also, I just discovered that the, I have a little bit of a cut in the tubing, which I had to put like uh, masking, t uh, not masking tape, um, electrical tape, to see if I can cover it up, but it's, it's still coming out, so I'm going to have to be very careful with the, with the tubing and hopefully I don't get it damaged uh, and I think that's pretty much it now the next color will be white and then we'll go from there and see what other parts that we need oh and then I gotta do the the other colors as well so let me continue on and we'll proceed <laughs> 